Hello, I am Kiatrik. I am a trainer for making games with Construct 2. I am a moderator on Skara.com forums. I'm an indie game maker and game designer enthusiast. I'm making this video tutorial today for Enver to Game Dave Touch Plus. Okay, so before moving on, we have pretty much all of our basic mechanics working at the moment. We have a player, we have enemies, we have enemies spawning in waves, and we have a continuous scrolling in a single layout. So there, we will want to add more interface to the whole thing to feel more like a game. So we'll go and have a bit of renaming. Our layout will be now known as level 1. Event sheet we will rename as ES. I use this prefix for event sheet. And mechanics. And we will actually add a new layout with a new event sheet. This new layout we will name title screen and actually put it on top. And there we will rename this ES title screen. So the title screen will be really, really simple. So first we will set up to the same size as the project. We'll change in the layer the background color and put it to black because black black is cool. Add some text in there and we'll modify the color of the text to white. We will modify the position of the odd spot of the origin point so that it's in the middle and we'll actually expand it over all the size available. Here it is. And horizontal alignment center it and actually even in vertical too. This text we will name text a title. And the name obviously will be shoot them up. But what is interesting there is that we will be able also in this ES title screen to add an event system on start of layout and we will introduce the web font there. So let's go in uh, Google web fonts website uh, google.com slash web fonts and search for the font name beta. Then click Quick Use, slide down, and there all you need is the URL, this one. Go back to Construct, and in the start of layout, set web font to so the name beta, and the URL, the one we've just picked up, and there if I just play it you see the font has changed. The font will be different depending on the browser you're looking the project in in the end. I set it in action so let's go and to modify the size there and put a 48 we'll add an action with 0 0.1 and add another text to our title screen and also set the font face there as beta in normal to this text object and this text object will actually be the explanation of our controls. So let's rename it text infos. And what I will want is to text infos set text. To 
controls in quotes and add a new line which allow us to jump a line in the object itself arose move the ship and new line and space shoot can be held down here it is I will also center as horizontal al alignment put it more in the middle and I will want to add another event keyboard on key pressed the key being return and when you press return we will start the game to do we'll have to add a global variable that will name level our level by default will also be of course one when return is pressed I want to set the value of level to one in in case we have already played the game and are coming back to our title screen it will make sure that we are always going back from the start and system go to layout level one because we are sure we always want to go to the first level and so right now if I'm playing the game press return now I go to the layout of the level and I can play the game we will have to add some more interface also to our level layout so add Y or HUD or whatever it's the layer that will be at the top and that will hold some information for the player, some feedback about the score, the current level and we'll also tell him to press return when the level is finished or when the player is dead and so restart the level. So we will add another text object we'll put it in the top left corner and set it to white color Text is call. We will rename this object. And actually, in the mechanics, in every tick, we can add a text is call. And first, add a global variable score, of course, which will hold our score. And so, every tick in text is call, I want to set the text to level and add the current level and add some more information score and add the value of the variable score I will also want to add a new text object that will also have its text centered it will be named txt next even if it's not always for the next step it will be in blank in white and I will put it in 24 okay and so in the ES mechanics I will add an event on start of layout put it right on the top because that's how I like it and as you remember the event shint is read from top to bottom so this event is to be the first to be executed when you are first executing your layout and there we will take this call set from face beta and we'll have to do the same but this time I will set it in bold 
I will set the size to 16 and for text in next I would do pretty much the same thing so back back text in next next bit of bold it's okay back back text in next and in 16 it's not really no it's uh, actually it's not about the size right there it's rather setting it visible actually invisible on start of layout I don't want to see takes the next I want it to only display when it's the correct time the correct time for that will actually be when an enemy is overlapping the player or and that's where I make a make or block and add another condition a bullet enemy is overlapping the player so this means that the actions will execute either if the an enemy is overlapping the player or if a bullet enemy is overlapping the player and when this happens I will want to create a particle dead object because it's always nice on the level action in place of the player X and player dot Y I will also then want to destroy the player destroy the player I will also want to set text and X to visible set the text press return and if I want to use quotes in quotes I will use double quotes so there return will appear between quotes but to as I'm using uh, actually a string in quotes I have to double quotes this word to start the level again but what I will also need to do there is to set a specific game state because once my player is dead the action is not immediate I mean I'm not restarting the layout as soon as the player is dead but on the human players action of pressing return so I will need another global variable which I will name game state that will still be number so let me add some comments so the score is the global score and the game state the game state will be this way state of the game when it's zero the player is dead when it's one it's in game and when it's two it's level one and actually I will already add it three eagle boss fight I will go back there because I want to keep the several events according to the same ID and so here it's player death and so as I was controlling all what had to do with the player so far putting it here seems to be a better ID on start of layout I will also change the value of game state to 1 I will change the game state to 0 because it's the player's death so from now on at this point the game is over and what I also want to be able to do and I will modify is that the scrolling only occurs 
if the game state is equal to 1. So that means that if the player is dead or if the player is in boss fight, we won't scroll. But if the player is simply in game, oh, I missed a H right there. If the player is still in game, it's just in game, I mean, we will have the scrolling and so new enemies will go on and spawn, etc. etc. And so let's add a new comment. Player is dead. Add a new event and this I want to check on key pressed and the key being return. And also add a new another condition to check if the game state is equal to zero. So I'm pressing return and I'm dead. So there what I want to do is to system set score to zero. I reset the score and then I go to layout level and level. This way if I'm in level one or level two or level three it doesn't matter. I will always restart the level. And a specificity of the manic shooters is that generally the player's collision is a very small box on the sprite. At first I wanted to use only the window there as you can see so I'm setting my collision polygon as I feel like it. It's a bit small though so I will just rather make it so that if the front of your ship the front of the ship becomes the collision polygon and what I want to do there is to apply to the whole animation not have to do this for all frames so I right click in the animation editor and apply to whole animation so if I click frame 3 it's applied it's the same now what I need to do though is to start my project from the title screen because the title screen will set the level to the correct value etc and also load the web font so if I want but if I'm working there and I press F5 I will launch only the layout so there is a shortcut you can either right click on the project's name and run project or press the F4 key which will execute your project from the very start I'm pressing return and there oh correct one mistake I made I need to play also with parallax of the GUI level and actually there I want it to be zero zero meaning that it will never move it it will still appear on screen so F4 return here it is and if I'm hit as you've seen by a bullet press return to start again the ships are going but the scrolling has stopped and if I press return it's working again see you in the next video